Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to buy and download Fraps to record your PC gaming videos. First, you want to go to www.fraps.com. That'll take you to a web page, like the one I'm on right now, and not like it, this will be the web page you get brought to. Then you want to go to buy, do not download because it'll give you a free version, but the free version only lets you record in 30 second intervals and it puts a huge watermark on your screen when you record. Go to buy, and then just go to buy fraps now, where it has the Visa, MasterCard, PayPal symbols, and it's only thirty-seven dollars. This is a very good investment to make if you're starting a YouTube channel for gaming. After you buy and download fraps, and then you open it, this will be the screen you are prompted with. You have four tabs: general, FPS, movies, and screenshots. So let's start with general. Uh, this is my name and my email. Um, I don't use that email anymore, so don't bother sending anything to it if you're going to. Then it says your version and your build. And you have some check boxes here that you can check box and such. Oops, turn off. Okay. Start fraps minimized. That means whenever you open fraps, it'll be minimized on the bottom part of your screen. So I always leave that unchecked because why would I want to open it minimize? That doesn't make sense to me. But some people may like it. The second one is Fraps window always on top. So that means no matter what screen you open, like whether it be a game or a browser, internet browser, Fraps will always stay on top of it. The next one is Run Fraps when Windows starts. Uh, that means as soon as you start up Windows, you log on and sh or start up your computer, uh, Fraps will open as well. The uh, next one is Monitor Aero Desktop DWM. This is what you would do if you want to record like a tutorial video or something that includes your desktop. Uh, I don't have that checked off because I'm not using Fraps right now. And um, to use that, you have to change your background on your computer to an Aero background. Um, you can look up more ways how to do that on Google, but I'm I don't use it so I wouldn't know. The next option is minimize to system tray only. That means whenever you minimize fraps it won't be in the icon in the bottom part of your screen, your toolbar. It'll be in the bottom right hand corner of your screen in, the little, in that little system tray where it says your laptop's battery life and like uh, your security on your computer like mine's Norton, mine's down there. And uh, fraps should also be down there if you have it open. Let's go to the FPS tab. Uh, you can. This is for benchmarking and stuff like that. So I don't really, uh, I don't really mess with it because I don't know. I don't really benchmark. But uh, you want to pay attention to this overlay hotkey, the overlay corners. It uh, it shows you what your FPS is in the corner of your screen, and you can choose which corner to put it in. But I feel like it looks more professional if you don't have it at all. So I click on hide overlay. Then if you hit F12, let me demonstrate, to F12, and it's going to move. So I can move it to all the corners, and then it goes to hide. The next tab is movies. This is going to be the most important tab if you're recording gaming videos and gaming commentaries. This is a folder to save your movies in. I just have in Fraps movies. I don't use Fraps anymore, so this really doesn't matter to me. But you can change it to any folder. Just click change. Click view to see the folder. Video capture hotkey. Now, Fraps doesn't have just a button you click like on Fraps itself to start recording. You need, you need to hit a physical key on your keyboard to start recording with Fraps. So my usual one is F8. But if I hit F8 right now, my... Uh, my uh, other program will stop recording, so I don't want to do that. So let's hit X. See? Now it's X. Now whenever I hit X, Fraps will start recording. But I want to hit Disable, because I don't want it to. And Video Capture Settings. You always want to be full size. Full size means you'll have HD videos. Half size, you'll have standard def, and let's be honest, no one really wants standard def anymore. So always full size, but they will be bigger files on your computer, so make sure your computer can handle them. And 60 FPS is just, you know, standard with full screen. They uh, both run really well. 
loop buffer length. I don't know what that is. And split movie every 4 gigabytes. I don't have that checked off because there's really no point to. Uh, now sound capture settings. Record Windows 7 sound. That will record any sound from your computer. Whether it's from a YouTube video or um, just a pop-up or anything. It'll record any sound from your computer. But not your voice. To record external input like a microphone or your webcam. Your webcam uh, voice, I guess. Click this. Record external input. See my microphone, Blue Snowball, and if you click only capture while pushing blank or space, that means it'll only record your voice when you press that button that you can program yourself. See? X. But I'll change that to space. Now, I don't recommend having this record external input checked off because when Fraps records your voice, it makes it sound bad almost. It doesn't sound as good as your audio should sound. So make sure you download Audacity or some other free program like Audacity. But the next tab we have is Hide Mouse Cursor in Video. Pretty self-explanatory. After you're recording and you're watching your finished video, your finished product, you will not be able to see your mouse at all in that video. The next uh, check box is Lock Frame Rate while recording. That means your frame rate will stay at a solid 60 or whatever you have it checked off as in the left hand of your screen under the movies tabs. Excuse me. And um, it won't fluctuate. It'll stay at that 60 or the 50 or 30 or whatever you have it set to. It won't go to 59 or 42. It'll stay right where you have it. But the last tab, the forced lossless RGB capture may be slower. I don't know what that means. So I usually always have it checked off. And this, the screen you're looking at right now, is how I usually set up my, my screen before I start recording with Fraps. And the last tab you have is Screenshots. As always, you can select which folder you want your screenshots to be saved in, right here. Just click Change, you can click View. And then you have your Screen Capture Hotkey. I use F10 to capture a screenshot. And I always have it formatted as a JPEG. And here's some more screen capture settings, but I always have them uh, checked off because I feel they're not important or useful at all. But that's just my opinion. Uh, screenshots are a great way to get easy thumbnails for your video. Uh, if you really don't feel like making them, just uh, get a screenshot of your game. And uh, make sure it's a screenshot that like summarizes your video. But I'm getting off topic. So those are the four tabs and fraps and how to use it. Make sure you guys uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. And if this helped you at all, make sure you like my video and subscribe to my channel. I post a bunch of gaming videos, different games on my channel. So um, make sure you check it out at least. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.